In this video, we are at the Brooklands Museum and it's filling up with hubnut cars and it's um, fascinating. We, we've set up our store right next to the toilets. That's clever, everyone needs toilets. Sometimes they queue for toilets, they'll come to our stand, you see. Also very practical because a lot of people need the toilet. Uh, we'll start walking around. We've got um, Mr. Kitch of the Up and Down Channel uh, has brought along his BX and the Reliant Fox he recently repatriated from Wales. So this was the rig he used to come and get that. Neither of us made video of that, we really should have done. He did do a sort of diary steps along the way. So worth checking out his channel, up and down, go and have a look at that. And uh, then it's just sheer variety we've got here. The chap who's marshalling for us today owns the yellow and black 2CV. So that's splendid. And if you're wondering why we've got a Ferrari of some sort next to a Ford Sierra Sapphire, that's because JM on Cars is here. So it's a chance to actually meet uh, James Martin and uh, have a proper chat, so that's good. So JM is here, um, we'll just have a look around. What else have we got? We've got um, a Citroen GS, which is owned by the chap who previously owned Giselle the GSA. Um, Alfa Romeos, we've got Chrysler 300Cs, Renault Espace, an S-Type in a beautiful shade of red, Rover 45, a nice Hyundai, and a Series 2 Land Rover. And uh, we've got uh, this marvelous Alfa Romeo 166 uh, in great condition. And leaking stuff all over the floor. Screen Proper wash. alpha. It's screen wash. Screen wash, okay. Like Excellent. <laughs> Always good to check a puddle. Uh, got a nice Volvo and look at this. Mark II Escort, 1.6 gear. It's in absolutely splendid condition. It's lovely colour. Uh, I will be doing a separate video on the museum itself. Here we've got the um, iconic clubhouse in the background. Uh, there is so much to see here. We've done a separate video. I actually came down yesterday and filmed that. So it's a marvellous uh, location. Just come and visit, it's excellent. Uh, the Ford RS Club are also um, having a bit of a gathering today. So there's lots of fast forwards in stark contrast to the world of Hubnut. Um, but let's go and have a further walk around and see what we can see. So here is an interesting car for you. It's a Fiat Panda VIP. Uh, I'm not sure what VIP means, but it means quite posh seats. It's owned by another YouTuber, YouTube at driven 247 uh, or 24 7 is probably more correct so that's a delicious brownness there and fittingly this used to be owned by um, the chap with the alfa romeo that's slightly leaking so there's a lovely bit of circularity going on this citroen c4 used to be owned by uh, mr kitch and uh, has the famous steering wheel with the fixed hub that doesn't go round. gorgeous um metro there uh, still got the dealer plates on it looking splendid brings back many memories. My dad had a Montego estate and the interior trim was very, very similar. Um, spinning round, Honda Accord Coupe. Um, unfortunately, the best angle for one of these is the back. I think these look incredible from the back. It's got the V6 engine as well. I could definitely have been tempted by one of these. And, uh, oh yes, yeah, so we've got the retro toys in this princess. This was on the stand at Bromley Pageant two years ago. Uh, lovely example. So Fiat Stilo 2005, um, still looking a little modern perhaps, but one of those cars, they are going to vanish absolutely overnight and you just won't see them anymore. And this is the Marshalls 2CV. Uh, it looks like an original yellow and black Charleston. Citroen only did these for a very short time before settling on the black and burgundy and the all grey, dual grey Charleston. Uh, yeah, it's wonderful to see so many absolutely superb hubnut cars let's go back over here again and we shall find our way around past the little mini uh, down to this lovely uh ford sierra which has also come from wales it's got a slightly smaller engine than betty it looks a bit lost in there you could definitely get a lot more engine in that engine bay so lovely sierra sapphire uh range rover with the um, 3.9 liter v8 engine Rover 75 in Moonstone Blue, my favourite colour, I think. Oh, maybe it's the coppery red of Rita. Hmm. Uh, little mini van, complete with the fixed grille, but I see someone's modified, so it's got the look of the fixed grille, but you can actually take it out, which makes accessing the distributor an awful lot easier. Rover P6 V8, lovely example. Uh, Vanden Pla Princess, the uh, Allegro. And uh, look how tall the engine is. That's one of the things that ruined the looks of the Allegro. They had to raise the bonnet line to get that in. Uh, regular viewers will recognize the Alfa Romeo 164 Cloverleaf from previous videos. 
well, it was also on the stand at Bromley pageant a couple of years ago. Uh, it's a little Suzuki SJ on um, Italian plates. Interesting, very nice. BMW i3, I would actually really like to drive one of these. I think they're a fascinating uh, electric car. And uh, there's German engineering represented. Uh, two very different cars. We've got a little Trabant here. It looks in lovely condition. Must do a video on a Trabant. Uh, this MG looks a bit interesting. That's not the original engine. And that's a very clever manifold. So you can hide it under the bonnet. And just about it. <laughs> Judging by the fact there's a slight dent in it. Um, you can get away with hiding the fact it's got a V8. Uh, the factory V8s did need a bit of a bulge in the bonnet, I think. And, and then getting the headers in. I can see there's been a little manual work to clear space for those headers. Bit of a struggle. Uh, so it's a Camry, uh, one of those cars again, street furniture, gonna vanish. And a Peugeot 205 Mardi Gras. Mardi Gras La. A diesel too. A diesel, perfect. Do you want to see it? Oh yeah, let's have a peek inside. A Mardi Gras. Oh, we're gonna look at the engine, look at the engine. Then we shall look at the interior. Naturally aspirated, the best way to go. Yeah, oh yes. The simple XUD. What an engine. It's been a pleasure to work. Oh, hello. <laughs> that, that's not a hub nut car, surely. Yeah. I bet it's got more power on tick over than this. That's uh, splendid. I, I don't know why that's here, but I love it anyway. But yeah, can we have a look inside? Yeah, sure. Checking the marvellous seating of the Mardi Gras. Look at this. Excellent. So yeah, it's quite the lineup. We've still got a few cars coming in. We've still got a few more over there. I haven't looked at yet. So thank you very much. We spin around. We've got uh, Fiat 500s. Uh, so we've got ordinary cars as well as Hubnut cars. And that's because we just, whatever you turn up in, you turn up in it and that's fair enough. But this little Reliant Kitten um, originally ended up in the wrong car park, but it managed to find its way here. So there's the same basic engine as Fox Am. Oh, that sounds delicious. I imagine that gets a bit noisy after a while though. Betty's probably better uh, in some re regards. And then we've got a little Fiat Panda. Is this a 100 HP? I kind of need to drive a, a 100 HP. It is. See how it compares with a standard one. But it's only when you get up to these little Pandas that you realise that they are actually quite tiny. And that's great. It's suddenly got an awful lot quieter. So there we go. That's so far the Hubnut Social. It's um, looking absolutely splendid. A great array of cars, so many people. I think it's going to be a lovely day. It's still early doors yet. And uh, yeah, should be good. Right, get out and do a bit more filming. Uh, we've got a, a Hubnut taxi. Oh, go on then. That's a party trick. Oh, rear wheel steering because it's a London taxi. And you've got to be able to meet the, um, oh, look at that. That's extraordinary. I've never seen this in operation before. It's got to have the same turning circle as one of the black cabs. So, uh, that's impressive. If you go faster than 5,000 hours, it straightens itself up. Oh yeah. Brilliant. So there we go. There's something we didn't expect to see today the four-wheel steering on a Mercedes Vito taxi. Brilliant. So uh, you never know what's going to happen at Hubnut Meet. Uh, we've had more cars arrive. Um, notably, this delicious Charade L251. It's a three-door rather than the five-door of Chemi, but uh, tempting to... Um, yeah, I bet that engine doesn't burn quite as much oil as Chemi's does. So that's a really nice example. Uh, little Skoda Roomster here, very practical. Renault Clio, uh, sorry, not Clio, Twingo, with its manic, um, it's got this double arm windscreen wiper, which leaves, um, we can't see it on this example. Oh yes, we can, here we go. There is an enormous triangle of doom. So they did all that engineering, still has a massive triangle of doom. Uh, Citroen Xantia, HDI, lovely color. It's a wicked red, I think it is. Audi 80 Cabriolet, very rare. Uh, Princess Diana used to own one of these, caused much upset that she'd bought a German car, another MGF, and this oh. superb Citroen C15, but I have no idea what that noise was. 
but belongs to uh, my friend Colin. He's just restored it. It's absolutely beautiful. Uh, Lexus belonging to Tom GS300. Look at the interior on that. And I've come around here just especially to look at his lacquer peel. But stunning car designed by Shujaro. Um, over here we've got a Toyota RAV4 long wheelbase. Uh, Toyota Avensis Mazda RX-7. Uh, it's a TWR one. So there's the twin rotor engine with its twin carburetors. Rover 25. Uh, Mark III Mazda MX-5 Ford Focus and a very lovely colour. Citroen Diane looking absolutely splendid. A Riley 9. I know nothing about pre-war cars and I only know it's a Riley 9 because the chap came up and told me earlier. And uh, utterly splendid. And Opel Monza, Opel Monza GSE. Uh, Lexus LS400. I'm just coming around the back because I think that's the best view of a Monza. There we go. And these people are lucky they get to park right next to Concord. A Lexus LS430, a wood liveried Freelander. First time I've seen a Freelander woody. Uh, very peculiar, but somehow also awesome. Uh, Renault Avantime, amazing cars, incredible engineering in these. And uh, the last vehicle built by Matra. Um, very. Um, important history there got incredible double hinge doors uh, to try and stop them just being massive and unwieldy that one's got the v6 engine and is very very nice uh, ford focus i think we've got a honda jazz here as well and uh oh yes complete with the hubnut sticker thank you sir porsche 911 uh range rover p38 for our headlamp wiper moment that's a very nice example still quite tempted by those uh, Toyota Previa came in fairly recently and is a lovely example so uh, there you go it's, it's been quite the day and the day is far from over yet but I suspect we're at peak levels of hub nuttery now here at Brooklands but yeah it's been amazing uh, to be here at this uh, incredible venue uh, with a load of hub nut cars it's just making me so very very happy so here's an interesting car. It's another four wheel steering car. Our second of the day, Mazda 626. So there we go. It's not quite as extreme as that taxi we saw, but it's definitely four wheel steering. So uh, thank you very much for bringing that along. He just brought, brought it just to show us. So he, he's a member here at Brooklands, came over to find out what the channel's about. And uh, that's a very interesting and very rare car. So that's wonderful to see. He's obviously come to bring it along here. So. I think people are starting to go now. We'll just quickly have a shout out for the Honda Accord wagon because you do not see many of those around. And uh, yeah, it's been a truly remarkable day. So thank you to everyone who came. Th thanks for everyone getting involved in this. Look, look at Mr. Kitch over here. He's surrounded by people just talking. That's what this event is all about. That's what makes it magical. So yeah, thank you. And I shall see you in a future video. Farewell. Fingers crossed.